You know, Ron, uh, it's not an easy thing to be accused of a crime you didn't commit, particularly one as heinous as, as murder. Uh, but how do people treat you now that they know the truth about your innocence? Most people are cool. Uh, there's uh, some who still keep a safe distance, which is odd for me because I've always been sort of a people person. You were wrongly accused. You were fully exonerated. Yeah, well, that the nickel gets you a cup of coffee. Even that's not true anymore. Cotton. Hi, Sydney. Here we are at Windsor College where Sydney Prescott had. We want to know how you feel. Uh, Sydney, I'd just like to say that I forgive and forget. Just like you, I'd like to get back on with my own life. <laughs> Did you get that all, Gail? Sid? Wait, 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 wait. Where's she going, Gail? Sydney? Where's she going? Gail, I, I thought we had an official interview. What's going on? She didn't know? Man, that was cold. Gail, you promised me 10 minutes of national You'll get coverage. your 10 minutes when I get my goddamn interview. Don't walk away from me, Gail. I'm still... Gail, I did my part. Can we talk for a sec? Um, th this isn't a good time. Come on, Sid, you sent me to prison. I took over a year for you. You can give me two minutes. Look, Cotton, I'm sorry every day. I'm sorry. I don't know how to apologize anymore. No, don't be sorry, sorry. Shamari, Sid, I have the solution to all of our problems. What? Well, what are you talking about? First of all, forget Gail Weathers. She doesn't get it, Sydney. She doesn't see the story. Between you and me, she wouldn't see the story if it smacked her in the side of the head. I mean, have you read that book? <laughs> Which brings me to my point. Who calls me out of the blue? The Diane Sawyer. <sighs> Believe me, Sid, I was as shocked as you are. Anyway, she tells me that if you and I go on the air together, she will give us the entire hour. What? We're talking prime time, Sid. You, me, and Diane Sawyer. Cotton, I can't. No, 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 look. Shh. Sydney, look, this is about money. It's not like we're not getting paid, no. okay? There's $10,000 each, not to mention what I've got going on the side with a 900 number. But Cotton... No, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. You don't like the press. I know that, and I respect it, Sydney. But, 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 Sydney... <laughs> It's Diane Sawyer. Hello. <laughs> She's a class act. Sydney, this could be some very, very heavy exposure. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, between the movie and the book, people know the truth. Let's get on with our lives. There's been enough exposure. Why would you want any more? Why? Well, oh, I, I don't know, Sydney. I don't know. Uh, maybe because I fucking deserve a little exposure. <laughs> I mean, come on, Cindy, you drag my name through the mud. Everybody thinks I'm some kind of psycho killer. And all I'm asking for is my little fucking Diane Sawyer interview to maybe get my side of the story straight. Now, I don't think I'm being uh, unreasonable in that request, Sydney. Do you, honestly? I'm sorry, Cotton, but no. Mm. You're sorry. Mm. I bet you're real sorry, Sydney. Such a good angle, Sydney. Lovable and fucked up Sydney Prescott, everybody's favorite little victim. Wow! Wow! What are you doing? We were here to stop your Sydney. hair. Sydney, shut the fuck up. Jesus, now. you're not Billy Loomis. You killed him. He's dead. Remember? Why did you attack Sydney Prescott? I didn't. There, there was no attack. We were talking very heatedly. Miss Prescott and I have a very complicated past. I didn't think that was a crime. <laughs> no, but homicide is. Okay, then book me. <laughs> book me. Okay, look. <laughs> I don't know about homicide, but you've definitely got me for raising my voice in a public library. Dear, you watch your mouth. You better hope your alibi's airtight. Can I please remind everyone here that I'm an innocent man? Don't you watch TV, current edition? That was a very insightful program on which it was made abundantly clear that I'm an innocent man. So until you find me standing over a dead body with a knife in my hand, I think you better treat me with the rights and privileges accorded to every innocent citizen in this country. Now, is there, is there some problem with the word innocent? I know, that's a big one. Chief? show cops are funny what do you think you're doing waiting for my 15 minutes of fame you can understand that can't you gail don't do anything stupid cotton gail you were so instrumental in my freedom 
You're not having character doubts now, are you? Sydney, if you change your mind. Come on, take a hike. This isn't what it looks like. I found Dewey. I tried to help him. I... No, 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 Gail. Wait. Gail! Gail, wait, Gail! Don't you fucking move! God damn it! Okay, okay, okay. Everybody slow down. I have had a very, very bad day. And I would like to know exactly what the fuck is going on here, Sydney? Cotton, meet Billy Loomis's mother. She's the killer. What? And who's that? The other killer, Mickey. Okay. Look, Cotton. Shut up. So, I. You're uh, not to be sold, are you? You're not with the Post Telegraph. No, but I can still help you, Cotton. Uh, 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 uh. As long as she's alive, you're not. If you really want to be in the spotlight. Personally, I think it's rather. No. No, Cotton, don't you listen to her. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Uh, quite a predicament you're in, Sid. Cotton. I mean, she makes a good point. <laughs> Let me think about this. Maybe you should too. Bet you that Diane Sawyer interview's looking real good right about now. Hey, Sydney, uh, look, I want you to know that I would never, ever do anything to hurt you. Go ahead and give me the gun. Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> hey, hey, Sid, you know, we should probably talk about what exactly happened here, you know? I mean, get our stories straight for the press statement. Oh, shit! Go ahead. Get out! Oh. Give me your hand, Gil. Ow. Oh, Jesus, scared, scared the crap out of me. <laughs> There's anybody else down there, is there? No. So much for reporting from the trenches, huh? Shut up, Cotton. How bad is it? it just bounced off my ribs. Jeez, Gail, you got more lines than a cat. Whoa! Talk to Cotton. He's the man you want to interview. He's the hero. Look, guys, no one wants to give you this story more than I do. Unfortunately, there is a time and a place, and indeed, a price for everything. So feel free to call me. Come on, Cotton, tell us something. Well, uh, I'll tell you one thing. I'll make a hell of a movie. Thank you.